Industrial Revolution saw Birmingham prosper, and one of the results was a set of magnificent buildings, including the Greek and Roman-inspired Town Hall. Town Hall was built in 1834, and it was built to be the home of the Birmingham Triennial Music Festival. There's been an amazing array of different famous people who've performed here, everyone from the composers Mendelssohn and Elgar and Vorjak through to Buddy Holly, The Beatles, Ella Fitzgerald, um, all the famous rock musicians of the 70s like Black Sabbath and Led Zeppelin. Town Hall was closed in 1996 for health and safety reasons. It then took 11 years for the building to be brought back to life. And as part of that, it had a £35 million restoration project. We hope that the people who've come to Town Hall since it reopened have enjoyed the programme of events here and that they feel as strongly about this building as all the previous generations have as well. That it's a building to, to love, it's a building to be involved with, and it's a building right here in the heart of Birmingham that I think everyone in this region should be proud of. The first city organist was a man called James Stimson and he was appointed in 1842 and I'm only the fifth organist to have the position since then. Um, we tend to live a long time and uh, stay here a very long time also. The town hall closed for refurbishment in 1996 um, and nobody quite knew when it was going to reopen. And the final concert that we held here in 2003, uh, we, we opened the hall just for that special occasion, and I remember the, the whole audience, uh, including myself, had to wear hard hats. <laughs> There's something about the sound of the organ. Somebody once referred to it as the voice of God. So it's not like people singing, and it's not like people playing violins or blowing trumpets. There's a certain aloofness of the sound, which almost makes you think you're coming closer to God by listening to it. <laughs> 